and welcome back to my channel. I've got such fun for you today and keep watching until the end because you never know there might be a surprise. So the joy of sharing all-inclusive card kit is fairly well hidden actually on page four of your uh, what do we call it August December catalogue. I have got a set of it, a set of it, that doesn't make sense, but you know what I mean. Uh, comes in this lovely box. I haven't even opened it fully. I've taken the outside cellophane off, but that's all. It comes with a Mossy Meadow stamping spot and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven piece stamp set, which has got Merry Christmas, Seasons Greetings and Longer. Um, so wishing you a season filled with the special warmth or friendship, the precious, the precious joy of sharing, and the wonderful blessing of happiness. And then to you and yours. So, let's open it up. Okay. So, what have I ordered this weeks ago? And I suddenly realised I was tidying out my craft studio, which had become a bit of a mess. And there was this box. And it was this. So you get a block, which if you are gifting this to someone, always useful. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't know where that came from. Um, a watch of dimensionals. Now, the thing with these um, cards is they're five by seven. So a really nice large size. Great for your special card giving. Uh, there is a set of instructions at the bottom of your kit and it's got the layouts that you can use. Now you can either use these for photo cards, so if you like sending family photos as part of your Christmas card this is ideal because you can use a 4 by 6 um, photograph, perfect for a 5 by 7 card. It comes in all the languages, um, and it's got the step-by-step -step instructions. So all you have to do is read what each of them says. So number one is stamp in Mossy Meadow, adhere using dimensionals, adhesive dots, um, adhesive back glitter dots, wow. Uh, and there's even a, um, a video to show you about it as well. So uh, the supplies in this kit make 15 cards. You can make cards with or without personalised family photo. Uh, use dimensionals or adhesive dots to adhere your labels. Uh, it explains that dimensionals raise and adhesive dots are flat. Um, and the stamper artist may help you get a clearer image when stamping the larger sentiments. Uh, red flags can be laid over or under the gold frames based on per personal preference. So, we have got uh, the set of seven photopolymer stamps, clear block, Mossy Meadow Stampin' Spot, 15 card bases, so let me find those, these are they, 15 card bases and they're printed to look like watercolour, double sided, um, white on the inside which all, is always useful, so brilliant, brilliant size, loving the size, uh, 15 envelopes, so 15 just plain white envelopes, uh, printed and die cut image and label pieces. So let's have a look. 15, so printed die cut image and label pieces. So I'm thinking that, that these are they, die cut and label pieces. Uh, laser cut foil, which is going to be bright. This is very bright. And you've got all this stuff in the middle as well, all the foil in the middle. Uh, you've got a t uh, gold glimmer dots. So those are, you could you just peel them off and you'll be left with the outline. Uh, adhesive, oh, that's the, uh, stamp dimensionals and adhesive dots. So somewhere, aha, there are our dots. Look at all of these. I mean, come on. <laughs> How many do we need? One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight sheets of those. Good heavens. Uh, one, two, 
three sheets of the larger label and one, two, three sheets of the smaller labels. It's amazing. I can't believe how much you get. Wow. OK. And obviously a piece of cardboard. Right. OK, so I haven't got any family photos, so I'm going to make them up as per the instructions here. So let me start with this one on the front. So that's this one. Now I'm going to substitute the full size mossy meadow uh, because I have full size mossy meadow and I'm going to substitute ergonomic block for this block. So I've got, whoops, if I can get that out. So this is about the size of a D block. So I'm going to use my D block, but I'm also going to, I'm also going to use um, smaller size or yeah, smaller size blocks. So all, you know, let's let's use them because I've got them. Right, okay, so the first thing I need to do is to stamp my sentiment, which is the large sentiment. So let me grab my ink pad and my stamp. Now, because they're photopolymer, uh, they can sometimes have this um, quick release finish on them. This is part of the manufacturing process. So I like to rub them reasonably well um, just with my hand. You can use a microfiber cloth. You could use a nice um, white eraser. I have a, a really nice white eraser so much so that I've labeled it. Um, but it's a really good quality eraser. It's nice and soft and malleable. And that you can just rub over and that takes the the um, ah, the release stuff off. So let me ink that up. Mossy Meadow matches my jumper, which is actually an old jumper that my mother had. Uh, and when she passed away, I took possession of it. And it's gorgeous. It's a proper Norwegian jumper. Perfect for this time of year. So... This is the one where they say that if you are, if you're a new stamper or you're a little worried about getting a good uh, image, you can use the Stamparatus. Now, here's the thing. The Stamparatus is actually cheaper than buying all of the blocks. Just saying. Uh, so let me grab my catalogue while I have that thought in my mind. So Stamparatus is, 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 is on page 164, blocks, so clear blocks, 100 and something, because it's smudged. Anyway, we'll find it. 164 we'll go for first, so 164, oh, on the same page, so um, near enough, 164, Stamparatus is £46. Great to buy during celebration where you want things that are 45 pounds. If you get all of the clear blocks, it's 67 pounds. Just saying that the Stamparatus may be the way to go. It is the only the only stamp block you will ever need, and you get two um, two of these, so that's four surfaces to use at any one time so it's really really great little piece of piece of gadget and it means that if you don't stamp the first time perfectly you can go back and you know that what you're stamping will be in the same place right so after which let me find some snips because if you've watched me any length of time you will know that when it comes to kits and die cuts i like to de-pip so I am going to de-pip. Now, if you haven't already, it would be fantastic if you were to subscribe to my channel. It actually makes a real difference to how many people watch or can see my channel. Right, so we've done that. We've got our card base. Number two is adhere using stamping dimensionals. So we need our sheet of things. So we need a smallish one and a largish one. So I think one of these and one of these probably. 
So one of those and one of those. We need a red banner. And there's not much sticking out of the red banner, so one red banner. Um, so that's going to go behind. Uh, and again, because, you know, it's me, uh, certainly the bits that are going to be showing, I am going to depip. Am I the only one that does this? Please let me know if I'm the only one that does this or whether you all do it. You can use a nail file as well or instead. Um, but I just don't like the little pips showing. And you can guarantee that the one that you'll leave will be the one that sits onto a dark surface rather than white and it'll stand out like a sore thumb. Or well, certainly in my brain it will. And for me, it makes the difference between taking care and just putting your kit together. So just a little bit of extra time and um, you can just raise your raise the level a bit. So that's that. Then I need one of these scarily bright, scarily bright that I've now buried somewhere. There we go. So upside down. Uh, they are all all the same. So I can take one of these. I'm going to keep it upside down so that it's not too bright. But what I'm holding here is gold foil. So please don't throw it away. Please use it for your punches or your die cuts because that's really lovely mirror gold foil. Right, so I think we're reasonably pip free. Just get that one. Yeah, I think, oh no, there's one down there. <gasps> it nearly got away from me. Right, okay, so this is going to go that way up, I believe. Looks like it, yep. So this I'm going to stick on uh, with some multi-purpose liquid glue. You can just use your, um, the adhesive dots that come in the kit, but I am a real fan of liquid glue, particularly when I can get a little bit of dried glue off from around the nib. So pop that to one side for the moment and just run a little bit. You don't want to put too much on because it will squish, which obviously is the technical phrase. And I'll just pop a couple of dots on some of these bits that are sticking out. There we go. Right, so making sure we know which way the card is opening. So here's where the card's opening. I'm going to pick it up. And for me, I find it easier just to go sideways on. And... Now this is where, if you were going to be adding a photograph, I would add it to this frame before you stick the frame on. Um, so I would stick this to your photo. Probably got a piece of photo paper somewhere. Of course I have, it's just in a sealed bag. That would be typical, wouldn't it? That's fine, we'll unopen. Oh no, it's not sealed. So this is a six by four photo. So you can just see it's the perfect size. I mean, it's not a photo, obviously it's a piece of white paper, but it's a print at home photo paper. Um, and it's just the right size. So you just need to make sure you haven't got anything in the, in the corners that's important, because otherwise you're gonna cover it up. So you don't want, you know, your, your child's face there. So this goes here. This goes behind it, so I'm going to stick this behind it first, and again, I'm going to use some liquid adhesive. And I am going to use dimensionals, but I'm going to use the ones that I've already got open. So I'm going to pop that down. Now, you can use your grid paper to make sure you get this square and even, deep and crisp and. Like that. So that's going to go there. We're going to have these bits. We're going to have one down here, 
one up here, and number two is adhere with dimensionals, I think. It is. So, grab my dimensionals. So I'm going to add dimensionals to the back of these first. Probably don't need all of those. So I probably only need one on there, two on there. And then we will have one of our cards finished. So this goes kind of like that. And this one goes kind of like that. I'm just going to balance that one there for the moment because this I want covering, yeah, I just want this so that it's going to be covering a bit of each. So this I'm going to put dimensionals on the back of as well. I'm not going to go mad with them. I might do one in the middle. And then just remove the backings. And that will be your first card done. But we can do some little additions. So let me just get these off. Last one. Get those out of the way. This the right way up, making sure we know that we're opening the right way. Yes, we are. Now, this is where I may have done a boo-boo. Oh, no, I think I might get away with it. Maybe not. So this one I'm going to move down a bit. Pop that one in there. Because what you want is for your dimensionals to not do what mine are doing, which is try to adhere to something that's already on dimensional. <clears throat> Learn from my mistakes. And there we go. So that's that. Then we just need our gold glimmer dots. And then I will do a bit of addition. So these should just come off if you kind of bend the... Hmm. They should come off if you just bend the backing. What I might actually see if I can do is remove... There we go. There they are. Oh, and there are two sizes. Cool. Now this I can pop on a silicon sheet. Actually, do you know what? This bit isn't sticky. That's weird. Ah, because this is the sticky bit. Okay. May not have been a good idea to do that because what I've done is remove the sticky from the sticky. So You can tell I haven't opened this before, can't you? There we go. So we're going to have, this is a large one, so we'll pop that up there. Oops, apparently we won't. Ah, okay, I think I have not removed the sticky backing. No, I think I have. I think this might be the sticky, yes, that was the sticky backing. Okay, so let's see what we have to do here. Clearly we're going to have to go in deeper than I thought. There we go, I think. Not quite sure what's going on here. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to use adhesive. Um, I think I'm just being inept, so I'm going to use my Tombow and I will then work out what I need to be doing and I will add a note 
to my blog post. Now, if you want to see my blog post, you can do that simply by clicking on the link in the description bar below this video, um, and you will go straight over to my blog post. It's called the Associated Blog Post. So, I'm making this much more difficult than it needs to be because we've got our Take Your Pick tool. So I'm not going to worry about what I'm doing with this. I'm just going to pick it up. And I want a large one there. And a small one. Yes, definitely don't do what I did and peel the backing off. Because I now have a sticky sheet that's sticking to me every time I want to do anything. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right. Okay, so that's our first one. Let me just pop those out of the way so I don't end up sticking myself to them. So that's our first card. Where are we with the time? Good grief, we're on 21 minutes. So the surprise, I must, must, must give you the surprise while I do the next one of these cards, which is, um, did you know that the mini stamping cut and emboss machine is now available for demonstrators to order? It is from memory, she says, looking it up. It is £56 and it's going to be available for customers in January. But here's the thing. You could have it now. You could have it now at a discount simply by joining my team. Um, so why not? £56. You can get 99, for £99 and that includes your postage. You can um, add the, stamp, the mini stamping cut and emboss machine to your starter kit. You can spend £130, as in you can pick £130 of product for your starter kit. And £51 less £130 leaves you with quite a lot still to spend all for £99, including free postage, and you'll then be able to get items from the new mini catalogue in your starter kit. If that's what you want to do, let me know, and I can make sure I get a copy of the mini catalogue to you. Um, so you can have mini catalogue bits and um, the mini stamping cut and emboss machine all for £99 before Christmas. So, don't say I never teach you how to save money, because I do. Um, so why not, I say, why not take advantage of getting it early or buying it? You could buy 56. You could get, no, you couldn't, because you're only allowed one. Um, I was going to say otherwise, you could get one for you and one for a, a crafty friend. Um, but unfortunately, you're only allowed one, so you wouldn't. Um, but... You could, you could then get one for your crafty friend at a discount in January. Oh, uh, you get at least 20% off. Whether you are in France, Germany, Austria, the Netherlands or the UK, you can join my team. Uh, we are spread all over the UK into Europe. Um, we do our team stuff by Zoom. So it's, it's virtual. Um, let me just get this in the right place. So what are you waiting for? Get your mini craft uh, stamping cut and emboss machine now in time for Christmas. It's just too good an opportunity to miss. And then when you purchase anything from stamping up between now and the end of April, for crying out loud, you will get at least 20% off. It's amazing. So, uh, yeah, why not give it a go? 
it would be fantastic to have you join my team. I would be thrilled to welcome you. We are a growing team. We have got so much talent. Um, it's beyond my belief half the time. I cannot believe there are such talented people on my team. Um, they are amazing. Uh, we have a guest stamper every month. So someone gets to um, use a new stamp kit, the stamp set that I give them. Um, and they get to play with it and keep the stamp set for a month. Well, they get to play with it for a month and keep the stamp set. Um, it's, it, we just have such fun. We have online retreats, um, all sorts of things we get up to. So I would love you to give it a go. There is no requirement to run classes or to be online. You can do whatever you want with your... Um, demonstratorship for want of a better word uh, so why not give it a go if you want any information I would be thrilled to answer any questions you might have uh, just drop me an email leave me a message I can get in contact with you uh, and um, we can make it happen and you can get your mini cut and emboss machine in time for Christmas yeah hey so yeah I will look forward to adding you to my team um, and uh, getting to know you a bit better. It would be amazing. Um, as I say, just let me know if there is anything you need to know from me. So um, we've got a few minutes left before my camera decides that it really is completely bored. Um, so I will just finish off this card. And um, then I will say goodbye properly. Do remember that if you are in the UK, I would be thrilled if you would choose to shop with me. If you do and use the um, host code, which is in the description bar below, uh, it's also over on my website. It would be quite hard. To, ooh, that's not straight. Um, it would be quite hard to miss my host code, I have to say. Uh, I do put it pretty much everywhere I can think. Um, so... Um, if you use my host code, you not only get the usual thank you card and thank you gift, you also get a share in some free product. So, uh, yeah. Right. I don't know if I'm going to have time to play with more of the little dots. But as I say, I will work out what on earth I've been doing wrong because I'm sure it's user error. And I will add that to the information that I leave on my blog. Um, so do go and have a look at that. I'm going to make sure that I put my dimensionals towards the middle. Um, I can put one down there and one up there. So I can do those corners. And that will be about it. So thank you very much for watching until the bitter end. As I say, if you've not subscribed already, I would be thrilled if you would. It's in the bottom right hand corner. If you, um, if you, my brain has now gone, um, if you like the video, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you like my s vague madness, um, why not give the video a thumbs up? And um, that would be fantastic. So those are the two cards that you can make without using photographs and just switch out the big labels for the smaller labels if you want to use photos. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe how much stuff you get in this kit. Um, and I will see you again very soon, I hope. Bye!